the in-house FM1745 caliber, manually wound skeleton movement which packs a whooping 7 days of power reserve. And do you know how they do that? What's up people, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be chatting about a Watches and Wonders 2024 new release by Frank Muller, the 7 days power reserve in the Long Island Evolution collection. In Watches and Wonders 2024, Frank Miller reviewed their Asia Pacific Exclusive Limited Edition in the Long Island Evolution Collection. In this video, we'll be reviewing the most conservative looking among the three, i.e. the 7 days power reserve. If you'd like to know more about the other two Long Island watches, make sure you hit that like, subscribe and bell icon to follow my channel as I will be dropping those videos soon. I'm sure you're probably expecting a pun from me on the name Long Island. I'm sorry to disappoint. I don't do punts. <sighs> the Long Island Evolution Collection debuts a modern rendition of a more refined proportion of its roots, highlighting the curves, angles, and fine lines of the original. The case of this watch is made out of brushed titanium with black PVD treatment. The green inner cage portion you see here is a green anodized aluminium. The entire construct of the case has a curvature shape with rounded edges. The dimension is set to be 33.7mm wide, 45.3mm long and 12.2mm thick. Whilst the proposed measurement on the width and length are acceptable, the thickness however, according to my scale, is 13mm. The new case design incorporates an additional inner case that secures the movement. More about that later. Between the 22mm lug width lies a hand-sewn matte black alligator strap with green stitching green rubber on its backing and sides, green holders and a brushed titanium pin buckle with black PVD coating. The engraved pull-out crown sits lower on the case without crown guards. The curved sapphire crystal open case back showcases the in-house FM1745 caliber, manually wound skeleton movement which packs a whooping 7 days of power reserve. And do you know how they do that? You gotta learn to conserve your energy. Conserve my energy? This is thanks to the two large barrel wheels that are stacked up on top of each other, both visible at the back and the front of the watch. The inner case offers added security and shock protection to the movement. The movement is decorated with circular satin brushing on the wheels, drums and barrel covers, diamond polishing on the sinks, chamfering on the main plate, bridges and regular assembly, and setting brushing on the main plate and bridges. The bridges on the back reminds me of Frank Willer's Vanguard Skeleton Color Dreams collection. Beating away at 18,000 vibration per hour, the balance view is visible at the front of the dial underneath the curved sapphire crystal. The large barrel views that are visible at the 12 o'clock position complements the second sub-dial at the 6 o'clock position. Aligned in parallel on both sides are the italic loom numerals, which, unlike most FM models, are not curved. Based on what I can see, there seems to be a layer of, which I assume is crystal, of course, of course, of course, placed above the movement where the numerals are then placed above it. Similarly, with the printing of the brand name, the word Swissmade, the second track and the second numerals on the second subdials are all placed above it. The three hands are all brushed and the hour and minute hands are also loomed. The 7 days is currently priced at 200,300 ringgit. Nice. And it is limited to 300 pieces only. So, what do you get at this price? A limited edition watch, a skeletonized dial, a new cohesive modern and aesthetically pleasing design, a 160 hours of power reserve, a compact timepiece that fits even my 16cm circumference wrist and under the cuffs, and a Frank Muller. Personally, I think Frank Muller did a great job in executing this piece in terms of design and quality on its workmanship. This, unlike the other two Long Island pieces, is very subtle and low profile. If I were to draw reference from the Lord of the Rings movie, we have Aragorn who is the king and the fans' favourite. And then we have Gimli who is the loudmouth. I have the eyes of a hawk and the ears of a fox. Ooh. So loud, we could have shot him in the dark. And then, we have the soft-spoken Legolas who shoots arrows with moves that defies physics and logic. Oh. 
This is Legolas. The watch looks great and is easy to wear. However, the price is a little steep. But what do you think? With watch prices increasing everywhere, do you think that this is reasonably priced? What about the design? Do you like it? Let us know in the comments below and let's start chatting. Until the next one, thank you for watching.